Hey, this is Robert at Guzzi Fabrication, 1962 Impala SS Restoration, Part 18, Install Left Quarter Panel. Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off. We are prepping the deck filler. And what we're doing here, we're punching holes with a manual hole punch. And we are going to plug weld this from the inside. Yeah, it'll be a little tricky, but we can get it done. Okay, and there it is. And as always, anytime there's bare metal, bare steel, especially if two pieces are sandwiching together, well, we put a little weld-through primer on that area. Never want to leave it in bare steel. Okay, now, if you've been following this series, we have already mocked up this quarter panel. And we should be good to go. We're going to, going to line it back up with the alignment marks we already have made. Reinstall the self-tapping screws to hold it in place. Prep it to weld. And you can see we already have our weld-through primer behind that. Okay, we're going to punch some holes in the lower part of the quarter panel flange. And now the wheel well opening. And that's going to mount to the outer wheel well housing. We always want to try to keep the wells evenly spaced. Now we're going to hold it into place and go ahead and install some uh, set screws, self-tapping screws. And we want to keep both of those flanges really nice and sandwiched together. We don't want it to have gaps or separate. That's just going to be ugly. And yeah, it's not going to look very nice and allow debris and water to get in between. We want a really nice factory looking finish. Hey, we're getting close on this car. And there's a shot before we weld. Flange is really nice. Against the uh, door jam area there and we're going to install some plug welds keeping everything nice and tight Okay, now we're going to start dressing this area down, and we're using a grinding disc there, and then we're going to switch to a flap wheel. And the important thing about doing this is you don't want to remove too much metal. You don't want to make it thin. And let's get started on that wheel well flange. And I call this piggybacking on I don't know what it's really called, but uh, the idea here is to use a clamp on both sides of the plug weld, then uh, plug weld, and that keeps that area really nice and tight, uh, sandwiched together. Then you move the clamp to the other side, or I guess the leapfrogging, whatever, but that's the method I use. And that gives us a really nice tight flange, or tight uh, sandwiched flanges. Okay. 
And there's a shot of the uh, plug wells. Now we're going to dress those down. And we're starting with the grinding wheel. And what we want to do now, this is a process. We want to just barely knock the tops of the plug welds off. We don't want to get aggressive and then dig a little valley into uh, where we just welded. We want to make that just above flush. And then we're going to come back with the next step. Finish these off. And then our next step, now this is a Rolox disc, and now we want to go a little bit more, uh, make that thing flush, make that plug weld flush. Again, not trying to tip it up on its uh, edge or anything like that, keeping it nice and uh, parallel, or as much as possible anyway. And again, grinding any type of metal, you always want to grind the least amount you have to. Now we're going to finish this off with the uh, flap wheel. And that's going to make everything blend out really nicely. And what we're after here, you can see the little divots. That's going to replicate a resistance well from the factory. And if we do that correctly, uh, yeah, it's going to really give a factory finish. And now this is just in bare steel, but once we get this thing primered then go through all the bodywork steps and it's painted, yeah, it's going to look uh, really, really nice. And we're going to finish off that uh, outer wheel well. And here's what we have. And you'll notice I use clamps instead of hammers. Anytime you see a hammer, okay, a hammer you want to push metal with. You don't want to you don't want to beat the metal up, put a bunch of dings, dents, things like that in it. Okay, now I have just a little uh, makeshift makeshift uh, guard here and we're going to apply just a little bit of sandable primer and it's very important anytime you uh, apply primer not all primers are sandable now this is a uh, really good primer filler and we're putting just enough on so that it doesn't rust and there's a shot of that Okay, now we're going to finish out this rocker flange. And it's still the same steps. Let's knock off the tops of the uh, plug wells. Now, this is a flat disc on the grinder. It's not a grinding wheel. Yeah, that'd be way too aggressive. Most aftermarket body panels are probably in the around the 19 to 20 gauge range. And... Uh, yeah, they yeah, you can't get really aggressive on those. Yeah, this car's coming together really, really nicely. And you can see, you can kind of check the work. You notice the uh, rocker to quarter panel mating area you see the uh, rocker flange both the inner and outer are mated up really nicely one's not hanging lower than the other we've got a nice parallel door gap on the bottom edge there and 
And now we're going to finish this thing off with the flap wheel. And that's, uh, I think that's 80 grit on this little orbital DA. Yeah, I love that thing. That's, it will get into places where, uh, yeah, you'd have to do it by hand otherwise. Really great for door jam areas. And we're just going to prep everything finally with red scotch bright. We're going to be applying a little bit of spot primer there also. And just blending out the EDP coat. And we want to ensure every area is prepped. We don't want to uh, just shoot primer over unprepped areas. Okay, finishing out the door jam. And let's check our fit. Yeah, I can live with that. And now from the side. Everything is looking really, really good. Really happy. And we've done a lot of work to this car. If you uh, haven't followed this, yeah, go back and check out day one or two of this car. You're going to be very surprised. And here's that area we were working on earlier. A little bit of shot primer. Everything looks really nice and straight. Now this area is going to have a little bit of caulking in it anyway on that seam. Let's get the fuel tank door installed. And keeping everything nice and tightly clamped together while we weld. Because as soon as you initiate an arc with a welder, you're putting heat into the parts. And we all know that heat causes things to expand. So it happens really quickly. If those pieces aren't secured together, you initiate that arc, the things are going to start moving really fastly, really fast. And that's how you get a separation between both of the uh, mating surfaces. Yeah, that's not what we want to do here. And we're going to start dressing this area down. Just barely knocking off the tops of the plug welds. I think we're going to probably have one more video. We're down to that. Uh, we're going to be fitting the rest of the trunk area, that back little panel on the trunk area. And the metal work on this car is going to be pretty much completed. Then we'll be moving on to uh, any body work that's on the car. Now the roof, yeah, we're going to have, yeah, the roof is kind of beat up. We're going to have to, uh, do some work there and you see me just lightly tapping that area just keeping everything nice and straight that's a little tack hammer
Yeah, we never want to beat up especially brand new body panels. And making sure everything is nice and prepped, finishing off with Scotch Bright. Now there's two, there's a few different kinds of Scotch Bright, automotive use Scotch Bright. Usually there's a red and then a gray. The red is more coarse and then the gray is a finer. That and the gray is usually for uh, uh, prepping paint. And that's the primer filler. And like I said, we don't want to put a ton on there. We just want enough to hold it. Keep anything from rust and bare steel. Hey, and stay tuned for the finale. That's going to be coming up. And like I mentioned, we have come a long way on this car. Complete floor, inner quarters, outer quarters. Man, everything except the uh, firewall and roof, I think, has been pretty much replaced on this body. But it is an SS, so yeah, definitely worth saving. As always, thanks for watching.